Well, it's time to talk about some of my favorite iPhones that have ever came out, and this is probably my 30th time making these videos, but every single year different things change, and I do think iPhones that used to be weird are now good, and it's very crazy because not that long ago some of these iPhones I would consider really really weird, but now they're actually pretty solid devices. Now the first like three devices that I'm going to talk about, I would not recommend anybody buying anymore, but I have to get out of the way because they're my favorite iPhones ever. The first one being the iPhone 4. This is without a doubt, it's been consistently my favorite iPhone design change of all time. It's still very current because the iPhones all have flat sides, but this is, you know, for anybody's top 10 iPhones or top 5 iPhones or whatever, this has to be like one of the top two just because of the design change from the previous generation to the next one, but also that premium feeling body, the front camera, the iOS support for a little bit longer than usual I think at that time. This was a very solid device and although I wouldn't recommend anybody buying it anymore, I'm still very impressed with the capability behind this specific phone. Now the next one is the iPhone 5S. Now this is another one of those iPhones that I mentioned I would not recommend anybody buying or using anymore, but it's very crazy because at that time it was a little bit of a design change, it really didn't change up too much, but I think with this specific iPhone, the fact that it kept getting iOS support so many years later really makes this device stand out in its whole entire different league in my opinion. This and the iPhone 6, but this one more so because it was the older one between those two. Personally, I think the iPhone 5S is a very impressive phone just because of that. It was also the first iPhone to bring Touch ID, which was pretty crazy. And this was the last 4-inch iPhone that was a flagship behind the iPhone SE. So this is another very solid phone in my opinion. Now the third phone we're kind of getting a little bit more current, and that is the iPhone 6S. This is, I think, one of the most impactful iPhones of all time, and I just made a video not too long ago explaining that this phone is pretty much the only iPhone I can think of that Apple will never really replicate the same type of layout ever again. I don't think they'll ever support an iPhone that has been this long supported for this specific device. When you look at the iPhone 6 and you look at the iPhone 6S, there are several years of gap in between these devices. And that's mostly because the iPhone 6 wasn't that big of an update where the iPhone 6S was a really big update internally. So ultimately, when you look at those two phones, I feel kind of bad for people who own the iPhone 6 because of the amount of, you know, drama behind it, but also the fact that the 6S got so many more years of software update. So that's another really big thing to keep in mind. Now, the next phone is pretty much what most of you guys already know. The iPhone 10 is by far one of my favorite iPhones of all time, and it is one of those devices that really switched up Apple, I think. Apple's never really going to make another phone, in my opinion, that's going to rival something like the iPhone 10. This device brought so much capability, and I'm so happy with this type of device because it just brought so much to the table. I think when it comes down to it, a phone like the iPhone 10 is unmatched, and I don't think there's going to be another iPhone that, you know, will pretty much rival this, in my opinion. Now, the iPhone 10R was another iPhone. Phone. I mean, there's just so many devices that Apple's made that I would consider my favorite. And a couple years ago, I would not consider the iPhone XR my favorite iPhone. Currently, it is one of my favorite devices just because it brought that new sector into Apple that flagship cheaper device that the 5C kind of was supposed to be, but they didn't really do it like that. And with the iPhone XR, and although the iPhone XR isn't, you know, an extremely beautiful looking device in terms of the panel, it's still pretty current because all the iPhones have notches. And for the most part, it's still a very capable device. A12 Bionic is still very important. Three gigs of RAM. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this device. And between the XR and the 13, there are some differences, but the XR has gone down in value quite a bit, which I actually do prefer. And finally, the iPhone 11 is one of my favorite iPhones from Apple as well. Definitely doesn't have as many features as the 13 Pro, but it's still a very solid iPhone, and I love this device a lot. So those are just some of my favorite iPhones from Apple right now that Apple's ever made. Of course, this isn't counting the 12 or the 13. Those are still fairly new, but the 13 Pro is probably my favorite iPhone of all time right now. But those are some of my favorite iPhones that Apple's ever made. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.